over the years I've had several Grumman sport boats and I did a video a few years ago about putting a plug into a sport boat and at that time I used PVC I was trying to save some money and technology has changed so now you can go to eBay and get two of these brass plugs with the plug itself for 11 bucks so for that I had to go get a factory version I'm not going to screw around with PVC anymore and uh, initially I put this thing on on the outside of the boat but in fact I prefer to have it on the inside so if I'm in muddy water someplace, especially in the managed game areas here in Michigan, if I'm reaching on the inside to loosen the plug and I drop the thing, it's not going to end up in the water and uh, lost forever. So I'm going to pull this off. I've made a backing plate out of aluminum and I'm going to install it from the inside out. I'm going to mount this brass uh, plug adapter into an old 1977 Grumman sport boat. So I need a piece that's going to support the, the outside of it. I'm going to put this on from the inside so when I pull the plug out I don't have as much risk of losing the plug. It just works easier for me. So I took this piece of leftover quarter inch aluminum stock that I had and you see I've just kind of traced a circle on it. I set these two up kind of like that. I intend to uh, cut the bottom off of this brass piece so the uh, plug will actually sit closer to the bottom of the boat. So what I'm doing right now is just marking up the piece of aluminum and I'll drill a hole here kind of near the center and then I use a uh, hole saw with a one inch outside diameter and I'll drill that hole out and we'll go from there. I drilled a pilot hole now I'm going to follow up with this hole saw. It was this hole saw that's just a, designed for wood. I picked it up at Harbor Freight. This turned out to be a single use deal after going through a quarter inch of aluminum. This little hole saw piece is shot. This is what the piece of aluminum looks like after my precision operation. So now I stop, drop the piece of brass in I'll orient that the way I want it. It's lined up pretty well. So now I'll go ahead and drill three holes where those screws will go. After drilling the first hole, I just drop a screw in. And that sets the location for the other two. I dropped all three screws in to confirm that they fit. Now I'll just take the grinder and turn this thing into more of a circle. This is a finished product. It's not a precision job, but it's good enough for an old guy's duck hunting boat. So that's the piece that will actually sit on the outside of the boat. And uh, after I have the thing installed, I'll take another picture. And here's my little backer piece before installation. And on the piece of brass itself, I cut the bottom off. So when this thing is installed, it sits closer to the bottom so the water doesn't have to get so high to actually run out. This is what the dry fit of my little aluminum disc on the outside of the boat looks like. So I just put that uh, brass piece on from the inside. I'll use some of this E6000, my favorite for marine applications, and put it together. And that's what it looks like on the inside.